My YouTube channel was terminated a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. That is really good and nourishing. Someone stole over $2,000. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> so I wanted to do a giveaway. Hike and Tori actually had a full blown panic attack on the hike. I couldn't keep my eyes off of you. Was it make believe? Or was it a dream? I've been waiting on my own. I have been wearing this outfit for several days in a row because it is so comfortable, but I think it's time to change. Much better. Now it's time to make breakfast. I think I'm going to make tacos for Tori and I. We have a little camping stove set up. It's pretty simple, but it does the job. This camping table has gone through it. I wish it was a little taller. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> This week we went to the farmer's market in Telluride. It was literally the cutest farmer's market ever. Our cooking setup is definitely not the best. I think the hardest thing about this setup is our lack of water and it just makes cleaning really hard, which is why we haven't cleaned our pan in a couple days. There's no time. We came to the forest mainly to escape the heat in Arizona because it was so hot when we were there. It was up to 100 degrees and in a van that's not finished and not fully insulated, it was definitely rough. We kind of spontaneously decided to come to Colorado and I'm so glad we did. The forest this time of year is just so beautiful. There's still little flowers on the ground and little snow patches and we're only camped 10 minutes away from this beautiful lake. I think I want to go explore the lake, but today is a bit of a cloudy day, so we're kind of just taking things slow. I've been reading, we're both reading this book actually, Wild, and I think I'm also going to make a lunch and wire wrap some jewelry. This is going to be the last time I wipe down these plates before I actually run some water over them. <laughs> I've been getting these bagged salads. I usually just make my own salad, but this is so easy and I don't have to dirty my knife or anything. I love this salad. This is my Blue Eddy AC240 power station and I've been using it as my main source of power on this trip. And this is my Blue Eddy AC180. And I love this power station because it's really affordable considering how many watt hours it is and it's really compact. I've had the AC180 for years now and I love it because it has superior load capability and high expandability so you can increase the capacity by connecting it with other Blue Eddy batteries. This power station is also very small and light and it has handles on either side so you can easily carry it around. In contrast, this is the AC240, which I've been using a lot for this trip, mainly because of its durability. This is the first power station I've owned that's IP65 rated, so it's dust and water resistant. And when I was traveling with Alex, she accidentally left her AC240 power station out in a rain and hailstorm in Colorado. All of the ports were open, and I don't recommend doing this, but her power station was completely unharmed and all the ports worked, which I thought was really impressive. This power station has a capacity of 2,400 watts of standard power, 3,600 watts of power lifting power, and a capacity 
capacity of 1,536 watt hours. You can connect two AC240 power stations to produce a whopping 4,800 watts at 120 volts. And you can connect it with B210 batteries and expand the capacity up to 20,272 watt hours. These power stations are some of the most versatile and important appliances I own. I use them when doing my van build, I use them when camping, and I've been using them a lot and relying on it completely for power during this van trip. Both of these power stations are LifePo4 batteries, which are superior because they have a longer lifespan and they're very safe and reliable. And they also have fast charging, so you can get up to 80% in 45 minutes. These power stations also have smart app control with the Blue Eddy app, so you can easily control and monitor your power station. If you're interested in either of these power stations, I have a special discount code for you, so make sure you don't miss out and check out the link in my description. I have had the most amazing day here by this lake. I haven't even really filmed the entire day because we've been naked most of the day. That's part of it. But also because I've just been experiencing it all and it's so pretty. The entire day we've had it all to ourselves. Not a single person has gone by. I'm going to wire wrap some jewelry while I'm here because I'm just feeling really inspired and I really love this new gold wire that I got. So I'm making some new wire wraps because I'm finally restarting my jewelry business and I'm really excited about that because it's been probably a year since I made jewelry, honestly. The reason why I stopped making jewelry in the first place is because someone stole over $2,000 worth of my jewelry. That was right before I went on the trip to Asia with Tori and I don't know, I just felt so discouraged after that happened because it was not only like the price of it all, it was all of my work and all of my love into these creations. Some of the crystals I even mined myself and I just felt like discouraged for a long time to get back into it and start creating again. So the way $2,000 worth of my jewelry was stolen was right before Asia, I had made a big batch of my jewelry. The biggest batch I had ever made before actually because I knew I wasn't going to be able to make jewelry while I was in Asia and especially ship it out. So I made all this jewelry and then I shipped it to my parents because they were going to help me ship it out to people. It was never delivered. It said it delivered but it didn't come to my address. It went to someone else's address. I don't know why. And I even got a hold of them and I called them and they swore that it was never delivered. Hi, do you... This is Sarah. Post office made a mistake and delivered my package to you on January 21st, but it was supposed to go to my dad and it has all of my jewelry and that's like the main way I make an income. Did you receive this package? Somebody came already from the post office and I told them no. Maybe it could have gotten lost, but I don't know why I have this weird feeling about it. Like somebody stole it but i'm really excited about this new collection and i honestly think everything happens for a reason and in a weird way that must have happened for a reason maybe so that i could feel re-inspired again i really love these pieces i just made they are so pretty they're so pretty oh my gosh i love them because they look like little fairies would wear them and that's what i'm going for i want to be a fairy in the forest so Whenever you decide that you have a purpose in life or you want to do something, like you feel that this is your life's purpose and you make that initial decision to pursue it and do that, the universe tests you a little bit. Throw in some obstacles along the way just to see how badly you really want it and how badly you'll fight for it. And it just feels like in the last couple years, I've had a few of those obstacles scattered around. Like this year, my YouTube channel was terminated without warning and I had to fight so hard to 
get it back and you guys fought for me too. So I want to give away a piece of jewelry to one of the people who commented on my post trying to get YouTube to give my channel back. So I'll do that at the end and I'm just gonna go through the comments and then choose one. Ship it out to them, I guess. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think typically people would call this a one pot meal, but we only brought a pan. So this is one pan ramen. I just put some veggies in there and now I just put in water and I'm going to bring that to a boil and I'm adding this bouillon. <laughs> That is really good and nourishing. I also redid my entire website with the help of my friend who's a graphic designer. So this is what my website looked like before she redid it. As you can tell, it's just very blank and basic. I did this several years ago and I have no knowledge of graphic design. So I was really excited to redo this website with the help of my friend. So she redid this entire website and I just told her what I wanted. I knew I wanted like bold colors. I really am loving the color lavender right now and like green I'm really loving as well. So I really wanted those colors incorporated and she also made a logo for me. She's been doing the animations on my videos and I'm really excited for this website because I'm going to be sharing blog posts with information about the van build and a lot of questions you guys have been asking about that. And this is where I'll be selling my jewelry as well. So you can go to the shop tab to buy any of the jewelry and I'll be launching collections regularly. The next step of launching this jewelry line was designing packaging and I knew I wanted Taylor to do that as well. So the first step was to set up a meeting and design the mood board. Hi! How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I created a fun little mood board to kind of showcase some ideas I have for of Earth. Just a few things that caught my attention and I felt I kind of connected to with your brand and the ideas that you had. I just wanted to make sure that these are properly representing everything that we discussed. For the next couple weeks, she designed some rough drafts for the packaging. I am kind of stuck on the ease. Like, I'm not sure if I want to do like a big bubbly or like a more of a square letter. And I like had a moment where I just drew a bunch of E's on uh, <laughs> my iPad here trying to figure out which one was best. Do you have a preference of like what your favorite style is of all of that? I feel like I'm liking the square ones a little more. I kind of like it a little more simple, like the bottom row. I'm liking okay. a little more than the top. After looking at the rough drafts, there were a few things I wanted changed, so we went in and tweaked a little bit. And then I ordered a sample of all the components of the packaging, and I really loved how it turned out. I got the boxes. They're like pretty simple, um, just like normal cardboard, but I think that it's going to look really good with the sticker on top. This is the sticker. I love how it turned out and it just wraps but around the you. box. The colors yeah. look really good in real life and it's like this beautiful matte texture. I got these stickers in bulk as well. And then this is the pouch. I think it's so cute. Yay, I love that. That's so perfect. It matches perfectly with the sticker on the outside. And then this is how the little info card came out. I love it. And the text on the back. And the little snail. I love this. Yeah, this <laughs> snail's so cute. Oh, the little perfect. snail friend. Thank you so much. I didn't know if you guys would be interested in this behind the scenes type of stuff, but it's really interesting to me as somebody starting a small business again. And if you are also interested in something like this or you need a graphic designer, please check out my friend. She's such an amazing person, so talented and so easy to work with. I've left her website in the description of this video. And if you tell her that I sent you, she'll give you 15% off her usual rates. <laughs> Tori actually had a full-blown panic attack on the hike because she thought that I died. currently 
hike in Telluride. I'm sure you can tell by the audio that there's a waterfall right beside me. This hike is so cool. This is already the second waterfall we've seen today. We saw the first one. It was so muddy and so, like, you stood by it and I was soaking wet. This one we have a little bit more space from, but it's so beautiful and I'm excited to see the third one. <laughs> As soon as we approached this final waterfall, the temperature started to drop. I'm cold right now, and it's actually a hot day. There's mist everywhere, and when you look through the tree lines, all you can see is this white mist. It almost looks like fog. It's so cool. The ground is really muddy, and it's so loud. I don't know if you can hear how loud it is, but it's almost deafening. was we got to the final waterfall and I was so cold because I was wearing shorts and a tank top and even though it's a hot day when you're near the waterfall in the mist it was freezing I was waiting there and she went like right by the waterfall like right underneath the mist and I couldn't see her anymore and I was waiting outside of the mist like I could still see the waterfall but I wasn't as close and I was waiting for a while and I, I it felt like a while mm -hmm. like it was at least 10 minutes no <laughs> I think so no, I was waiting for you I thought Five minutes. It felt like 10 minutes to me. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It felt like a long time. I decided to just walk down alone because... No, telling me. <laughs> Why would you, would you ever tell, never tell your partner that you're hiking with that you're going to hike back down? I wasn't going to hike all the way down. I just wanted to get out of the general misty area that was cold. I come down <laughs> thinking, hmm, why isn't she up this waterfall yet? I thought she was going to come over here. Oh, also, the reason why I didn't go to the waterfall is because I have all my camera gear and I didn't want it to get wet. I'm going to put it in your bag, though. I come down. She's not where she was last. So I say, Sarah. No answer. <laughs> Nobody around. Mm. I start freaking out, panicking. My inner monologue is like, she fell down Aww. into the river waterfall and really hurt herself or something really bad happened. I started full bone having a panic panic attack, like like hyperventilating and freaking out and crying. And I saw mm. a few hikers pass by and I was like, have you seen a girl? I didn't describe Sarah. And everyone was like, no. Finally, this little girl, teenager, this teenager, she was like, oh yeah, I think I saw her. she has short hair, right? And I was like, yes, oh my God. And so I held on to that sliver of hope and I started running down the mountain for a long time. You went far. <gasps> yeah. And I finally found you. I actually did go kind of further than I anticipated because every time I stopped, and I stopped multiple times, but every time I stopped, it was so cold. But I had no clue that she would freak out so much like I honestly when she came out from the forest she was like Sarah I was just waiting there and I was like oh hey what's up and then she starts bawling and she's like why did you leave and I was so shocked like even in that moment I still didn't really register what was happening I didn't realize that you thought that I had died <laughs> thought so that you got scary. hurt and that you needed me or something I don't know but I shouldn't have left I had to hold on to you for like 10 minutes <laughs> yeah we literally hugged in the middle of the trail and people were just walking past us we were hugging for like 15 minutes they're probably like what are they doing but anyways we're both safe we're alive we came back from the hike and it was really beautiful and now we're in the town of telluride and we're gonna get vegan ramen at this restaurant called wood ear My YouTube channel was terminated a couple months ago and it was really an emotional time period for me. And the only reason I got it back was thanks to you guys. You guys were spamming YouTube, emailing them, messaging them, leaving comments on their Instagram page. It got the attention of executives within the company who helped get my case looked at and got my YouTube channel back. So I wanted to do a giveaway and give one of my new necklaces away. You can choose whatever necklace you want of the launch. And what I'm gonna do is just scroll through the comments and land on a person and then they can choose whatever jewelry they want so let's do it and then okay well a little more okay Gracie Connolly this is her um, 
Instagram, Gracie underscore Connolly. If you're watching this, I want to send you a piece of jewelry. I'm also going to direct message her so she doesn't miss this. I just want to say thank you again to anyone who's supported my journey, whether that's watching my YouTube videos, commenting on them, or being one of the people who helped me get my YouTube channel back. I genuinely would not be able to do this without you guys and pursue my dreams, and it really means the world to me. Like, this is all I've ever wanted my entire life. But I've decided I am going to do regular giveaways for the jewelry line. So if you're interested in receiving a piece of hand made jewelry from me go over to my Instagram and if you follow the page and regularly comment I'm just gonna go through the comments every once in a while choose a winner and give you a piece of jewelry thanks again for all the support and I'll see you guys next week on Sunday bye